Let's go back to Tom Petrovsky for the latest markets today. Any change, Tom? We're still going to take a little bit of a knock. We're going to um, fall by about 0.1 of a percent, Pete, when we kick off. It's just a question of whether or not uh, the momentum uh, continues to the downside because we saw some pretty sizable declines where commodity prices were concerned last night, uh, oil specifically. So it was down by around 4%. <coughs> uh, we also had uh, gold prices uh, at a 12-week low. There's a couple of reasons for that. The concerns around growth. Uh, and indeed, at the same time, you've seen the US dollar gravitate higher. And that's because of the conversation that we've heard, heard in the last couple of nights from Jerome Powell, the head of the US Federal Reserve, has been testifying on Capitol Hill before uh, con uh, congressional committees. Uh, the bottom line is that there are another couple of rate hikes in the pipeline. Market kind of knew that, but it's just sort of pushing long and short term interest rates higher uh, at the moment. And that is where the rub is. So uh, as that happens, as the US dollar rises, that tends to put downward pressure on commodity prices. Uh, quickly, just worth pointing out that uh, the Bank of England unexpectedly raised rates by a half of 1% last night. And that was to address uh, stronger than expected inflation figures that we've seen recently. That was another factor pushing uh, interest mm. rates higher. So at the end of the US session, the S&P 500 up 0.4%. The Nasdaq up by about a percent. That's where uh, stocks flourish the most. The tech stocks, which is interesting in the uh, face of rising interest rates. So a bit of a mixed picture as far yeah. as the local share market's concerned today. Do you agree uh, that maybe is not the time to, to go to the UK, Tom, uh, because it's too expensive? Go to Japan instead, $1, almost 100 Japanese yen. Or just continue to enjoy the jewels that Australia throws <laughs> yeah. up in terms of travel. Oh, I'm just talking about uh, going on an adventure. I mean, aside from you taking the bike out to the Blue Mountains on the weekend, which is also nice. Well, look, Peter, I know that um, you're quite... Uh, keen on luxury but you could find um, adventure very close at hand okay um, so if you stray out of your neighborhood okay so In you're fact, not you're not going to japan then no, i'm not going to japan <laughs> i love the idea of an onsen though that would be the, yeah. the sort of thing that would get me over there oh, yeah, i'm going to try one of those road. this is my trip in japan i'm uh in january i'm already excited about it hey are you a taylor swift fan tom pachowski mm -hmm. Oh, Pete, um, who doesn't love Taylor Swift? Oh, People in you Brisbane, are. I suppose. You are. You are, then. You're a shake-it-off no, you're sh you're shake guy. Oh, uh, look, you know, um, I appreciate the young lady's talents. It's probably not in my wheelhouse in terms of what I would gravitate towards in yeah, terms yeah. of musical taste. Yeah, no, we speak about this. That it's massive an, attack. Probably massive not attack, aren't you? More massive attack, that original album. Yeah. The um, yeah, look, a massive attack this. was a seminal um, seminal group in the UK yeah. in the nineties. Great course. album. Yeah. Get around it, folks. Yeah. Tom Petrovsky, good to chat as always. Talk to you soon.